All right, let's do this again. We got another skyscraper demonstration. Um, last time I did it with columns, this time I'm doing it with rows. So this is a nice switch up. It's also kind of upside down from what w I demonstrated last time. So again, talking about this technique, spotting it is here we're looking at this row. The only spot that an eight can be possible are in these two cells that I've highlighted. And if you look at this row, that's the other spot where an 8 could exist either here or here. So you have two rows where there's two possible cells in each row. And what that does is it forms this pattern which is known as a skyscraper. Um, it's upside down of course right now or I should say it's sideways because technically here's the base right here. The base would be where you have two um, cells lining up and then the other section would be where you have a staggered pattern but essentially again what this is showing us is an if this then that scenario again so if we go back and we look again at, at that kind of a philosophy if we look here and we say okay if an 8 is here we know it cannot exist here or here so we'll go ahead and say this is an 8 just for our example and we'll exclude where the 8 cannot exist because it would exist here. That would mean that this would be the only other spot that the 8 could exist. Now if we go back and we look at this cell now instead of this one, if we go here and we say, okay, if this is an 8, then the 8 cannot exist here or here, which means it would have to exist here. So knowing that enables us to look at these two here and spot what other possibilities do both of these cells see that can be eliminated because again if you're looking at this the 8 can only exist here or here it's it's going to exist in one of these spots no matter what that's a given because of the fact that we have this these uh, two possibilities in this row and two possibilities in this row that's just the way that logic works it, it, they can't exist anywhere else but here or here so if you start with this one and you go up because we're looking for a cell that can be seen by this one and this one if we continue up this way here's the only other cell that this one here can see where an 8 exists and it's also visible by this cell so these two cells here can both see this cell which means an 8 cannot exist there so I'm going to mark that pink and if we go again with this one and travel towards a cell that can be seen by both of them travel this way here's a cell where an 8 is possible it can be seen by this cell here and it can also be seen by this cell here so this is not a possibility for an 8 so now we've eliminated the possibility there which obviously if we rule out an 8 here if we exclude that that means this has to be a 3 obviously because it's a naked single and this has literally unlocked the rest of the puzzle for us now. The rest of it is going to be quick. We just fill in where these actual known numbers are now, these naked singles that we spotted. And we'll be able to just kind of blast through here and complete all the numbers where we've actually spotted all the rest of our naked singles. And that's it. Thanks for checking it out, guys.